In all of these examples, we have discussed how to create the persistent volumes, persistent volume claims and mount it. Everything we did it manually. We call it as manual provisioning. If there is a manual provisioning, there should be a dynamic provisioning as well. Dynamic provisioning uses an API object called storage classes where you configure a provisioner to dynamically create these persistent volumes when requested using a persistent volume claim pvc so these storage classes are created as part of the bootstrapping process of the kubernetes cluster by the administrator so the main goal of storage classes is to eliminate the need of the cluster administrator to pre-provision the storage to allow them to be created on demand. So the users can then request storage by specifying the storage class and the size of the volume needed in their persistent volume claims. The administrator can create one or many storage classes depending on which type of storage options they support or want to make it available for the users to consume. For an example, the administrator might create two flavors, fast backed by SSD disk and slow backed by hard disk HDDs. When you want to define a storage class, you will be using the kind storage class under the metadata you can provide. What is my storage class name? Here are uh, the two examples. The first one is slow and the second one is fast. So the parameters needs to be different between these two storage classes. So under the provisioners, I'm defining what is my provisioner here. I'm in the Google Cloud Platform because of that I'm using GCE PD as the provisioner and under the parameters I'm defining if I need to provision some volumes with the slow storage class I need to use PD standard. In that case it will use hard disk but when it comes to the fast storage class I'll be using PD SSD that means it will be backed by SSD storage. So when you have the storage classes defined, you don't need to create the PVs, persistent volumes manually because storage class will make sure the PVs are dynamically provisioned when you create the persistent volume claim object in your Kubernetes cluster. So when you deploy a claim, Kubernetes will try to find the PV that matches the claim criteria and then bound it into the PVC and it will not be released until the PVC is deleted. So this is how the PVC would look like to consume this storage class. You will have the kind persistent volume claim in the same way and then you will be defining a claim name and under the resources you can define what how much storage that I want to request and you can define the access modes as well as that you can define the storage class name. If you define it as fast it will create a persistent volume with the SSD storage and if you use the storage class name as slow it will use hard disk storage as we define in our storage class definitions. When you want to mount this persistent volume claim into the pod you can use the same approach that we have discussed earlier by creating a volume pointing it into your persistent volume claim by providing the claim name and you can mount it into your containers using the volume mounts section. 